Hey, it's Mr. Wilson. I'm going to show you how to shoot your independent production. Here I have the camera on a tripod. It's not going to move. It's going to stay exactly still. And I'm going to be shooting this. I'm going to be keeping this line in the middle. This is where I'm going to be putting my split screen. So right here, this is my split screen. I'm going to make sure that no matter what, where I'm standing here, I'm not going to go over this line. No gesturing over this line. I'm always going to make sure I'm on this side of the line when I'm doing these lines of dialogue. When I'm on this side and I'm doing these lines of dialogue, I'm going to make sure that this line here, I'm always going to stay over here. So we're going to do one take, do not move the camera, of person one. Now, without moving the camera at all, at all, we're going to just come over here and do all the lines of dialogue here. Now, my character is going to be standing here, so I'm just going to be ready. And so, without moving the camera, we're just going to keep the camera there, do the second lines of dialogue. That's you. What do you want? That's me. That's me. I'm sorry. I love you, man. Now all we need to do is change the camera and get our medium close-ups. Okay, now I've got a good medium close-up, good headroom, nose room, see both eyes. Even if I'm looking this way, see both eyes. Good right below the chest. I'm ready to do my lines of dialogue straight through. I'm not going to enter or exit. Hey, Miss Wilson, how are you today? That's not a very nice way to greet someone. Oh, man, really? Man, well, people told me that you're a bully. I say you just don't know Mr. Wilson. He likes to kid around, but he's a good person. He's, he's a bully. I see. Here's a mirror. Take a look. And we'll see if you're a little bit nice in the future, maybe. See ya. Okay, now we're going to get the medium close-ups of the other side. Two good takes is a good idea, but if you can't... Oh, it's you. What do you want? That's not a nice way to meet someone. Here's a man, take it. Oh, well, is that me? Oh, maybe it's, get away! No, I see him a monster, can you forgive me? I'm sorry, I love you, man! Once you have your shots imported into Final Cut, you're going to edit your first shot, your establishing shot, and you're going to overlap them. So here is my clip where I'm standing on the right, here is my clip when I'm standing on the left. And you're going to have to time them out so that the conversation is happening at the right time and one good thing to do is use these waveforms so I know that this waveform right here is me saying how are you Mr. Wilson hey Mr. Wilson how are you today and this is the waveform is me saying oh it's you what do you want oh it's you what do you want so one of the things you can do is you can use these waveforms once you've identified what they those waveforms are you can use them to kind of line things up now I the only thing that's going to show is what's on top and you can build lots of layers like over here I've got lots of layers of things but for this you're just gonna need these two layers you on one side you on the other and once you've got it timed out you're going to click on the clip you want to crop and I'm going to do it to my top shot you're going to come here and you're going to click on crop now you're going to click on in this case the right over here because I'm going to crop it this way and sometimes it's hard to grab on that this is this blue thing here one of the things you can do is if you go here and make it smaller 25 percent or 12 percent it makes it easier to grab that blue handle on the side that you need to drag so I'm going to bring my crop right there because remember again that line of the lockers is where I want my split screen and when you have like a line or something in your background that you can use to kind of mask the fact that you're you're uh, have a split screen you probably want to do that because you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a difference there but uh, if you use that I'll go to fit again so it looks bigger you can use that to kind of mask it if it was in the middle of the locker it wouldn't look nearly as good so that's how you do a split screen hey Mr. Wilson how are you today oh it's you what do you want so that's the basics of how to do a split screen